This assignment goes over the process I used to create a very good old age makeup. So I'm going to go through each of the steps. Probably the most important thing to think about is all the things that happens to your skin as you age. I had to think about how my skin was going to lose color, how it was going to sag, and then how it was going to wrinkle. Now making it look paler, I just had to find a foundation that actually was lighter than my skin color, one to two shades lighter. And I applied that all over my face. And then highlight and shadow, uh, I wanted the highlight to be three to four shades lighter than the foundation I used and the shadow to be three to four shades darker. And I apply those to my skin, uh, usually with my finger in order to make it look like my skin was sagging and then I used the brush with very thin lines to make it look like it was um, wrinkling more than it is. So how do I make a wrinkle? Um, I had to find where the wrinkle is or is going to be and for, for me that's pretty easy. So the step one is to find the wrinkle and step two I always do a thin line of shadow first, that's easiest for me, and then I take a different brush and I do a thin line of highlight. If it's a horizontal thin line of shadow, then I will put the highlight under it. If it's a vertical, I will put the highlight in. And then if I need to, I will blend out slightly if there are parts that are too light or too dark, depending on the wrinkle. So I start with somebody who looks very, very young or not so young, and then I'm going to apply that foundation, making sure that it's a little bit lighter. As you can see, this is a little bit lighter. I'm going to make sure that I get up into my hairline and down onto my neck, under my nose, also my ears and, and my eyelids, so that it really does look like all my skin. Um, I don't look like I have a mask on. The next step is the sagging. And I'm going to, with my finger, apply highlight. I'm going to go right here on the brow bone, as you can see, the bridge of the nose, and then on my cheekbones. And then um, I kind of wash off my fingers, and then I'm going to apply that shadow. I'm going to apply it right here on my temple, on the side of my nose, going up into my eye socket, and then under my cheekbone. And I'm going to start with my wrinkles. I start from the top and kind of work down. So I'm going to start with my F wrinkles, which are forehead wrinkles and furrow wrinkles. So if I furrow my eyebrows together, that's what mine look like. Um, and again, we already went over how to do a wrinkle. I find where the wrinkle is. Now in 20, 30, 40 years, they're going to be longer and thicker. And so I try to elongate them and make them a little thicker than they actually are and I apply that line of shadow and then underneath it I will do the highlight and then on these vertical ones that I have in between my eyebrows I do the shadow first and then on the inside I will do the highlight. Next I'm going to do my eyes and there's three steps to the eyes. I'm going to start with the eye bone so I'm going to put highlight right here on my eye bone. I'm going to take that shadow and I'm going to make sure that it connects to it. I want a nice sharp line in between the two. The next thing I'm going to do is my eye bags. I'm going to do the semicircle underneath. Nice thin corner to corner wrinkle. And the way that I find this wrinkle, well for me it's pretty easy, but on a younger person, a high school person, I'm going to look at my skin and see where it turns a little bit gray because underneath this section is actually fluid and so it's grayer in color right here and underneath your skin where there's tissue underneath it it's pinker and so if I look that to see that change in the physiology where it goes from tissue to liquid you can see that it turns gray a little bit and that's where it's gonna go I also put a tiny little bit of white in inside I don't want to fill it with white, but I put a little bit of white right there to make it look like it sticks out even more than it does. And then the last part is I'm going to do crow's feet right on the corner of my eye and then sometimes uh, down a little bit here. 
I do this part last so it can go over the eye bag. And again, I'm going to do really thin wrinkles with the shadow and then underneath the line of highlight. Next is the nasal labial fold, and that's actually Latin for nose lip fold. And I'm going to find uh, where this is going to be, elongate it a little bit. And I do my line of shadow and my line of highlight. And then also I'm going to add a little bit uh, with my finger of highlight on the puffy part so it makes it look like it sticks out even farther. And then I'm going to do my lips. I apply some shadow to my lips and then I purse my lips together, not pucker, but purse, and I take my latex sponge and pat on some highlight over it, blend if I need to, but that makes that nice cracked look, and I can find where my lip wrinkles are going to be. I'm going to find some of these deeper uh, wrinkles, and I'm going to start in my lip, go outside my lip. Uh, with my shadow and then of course my highlight is going to go on the inside but I want these to be really thin or I look like I'm just a railroad track then I can't forget my beautiful corner wrinkles they come from the corner of the mouth and so I'm going to apply a wrinkle there next I want to make my jowls which basically is when your cheeks lose their elasticity and they sag down downwards I love that gravity thing so I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to create um, like a little triangle right here of shadow and I'm going to actually continue that on the very bottom of my jawline back a bit and the and if you can't find where this is you just take your cheeks and you pull them down and you can find it and then on top of it I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to put some highlight on the top of that it makes it look like I'm sagging now in order to make our eyes look like they sag, uh, you can take your brush, take some of that red color from your kit and put it right on your like where you put eyeliner and it makes it look like your eyes are sagging and you can see the inside of your eyelid. Then of course you always want a powder so that if you accidentally brush up against something you're not going to lose all your wrinkles. You want to put a very thin line uh, or a thin layer of powder and not um, not too thick because you don't want to hide all your wrinkles and then you want to check under the lights and from a distance like from the house where the audience is going to see because sometimes the wrinkles look fabulous close up and they look invisible from the house and sometimes they look horrible up close but from the house they look perfect you also never want to forget um, costume and hair if I, my face looks old, but I'm wearing something that looks very young and I have a very young hair hairdo, I'm not going to look old. So remember how important that is. And as you can see, you can make someone who looks so very young, so very old.
most unattractive I've most unattractive I've ever been in my entire life. Um so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and liked it and um, please take a moment to subscribe, comment, message, like, unlike the video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!